New at 6 tonight, a hospital is forced to cancel all operations because it has no natural gas, and it is just one of nearly 4,000 customers affected by this outage. It is affecting people in the communities of Salida and Poncha Springs down in Chafee County. Matt Kroschel grew up there, knows this area really well, and Matt, this is impacting a whole lot of people. You know, Karen, I'm standing in my parents' front yard here in Poncha Springs. The ruptured gas line just west of Poncha happened yesterday morning. Since that time, no gas for anyone. About 4,000 people here in Poncha and Salida. And now we've learned the repairs have been made to the gas line, but uh, those crews are having to go door to door to fix all those gas meters. The lunch rush is more like a trickle. At first, I was just like, Holy crap, now what do we do? Because we have no gas, which means we have no hot water, we can't use our stove. For owner Jeannie Watts, the gas outage that started Tuesday morning means she is losing money. We just decided for today that we would just do um, ice cream and potato salad and chips and things that um, either were already made or that we didn't have to worry about needing hot water to clean anything up. The impacts in the community felt by nearly everyone. We ended up losing two towns. We lost Salida and Poncha Springs, a total of about 3,900 customers. Uh, so we've got crews working around the clock uh, to get customers back up and running. Schools forced to dismiss early. Salida school got out early today because they can't feed the kids lunch. So, that, I mean, that's another issue. So that changes parents with work schedules and Boys and Girls Club and babysitters and I mean, it affects a lot of different things that you don't think about. It's cold showers and creative workarounds as crews go door to door, getting each customer back online. The first customers back on. We have the hospital up and running, uh, nursing facilities, schools are, are well on their way, if not already back up and running at this point. Just about everyone trying to make the best of what is a big inconvenience. One of those friendly crews from Atmos just actually came up the street here, uh, Chapita Avenue here in Poncha and stopped by a couple of the houses, went in and relit those pilot lights. So they are definitely making progress, but it will still be a couple of days before everyone is back up and running. We're live tonight in Poncha Springs, Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.